Hey guys, uh, today we have a Warren Thomas uh, custom knife. Uh, this folder, um, he doesn't have a name for it. Uh, it's one of his uh, newer uh, folders. And I don't think he made a lot of these um, less than 10 uh, pieces. I think they were made. And um, he has the scale with uh, carbon fiber. Uh, this one's G10. He also has the full titanium scales, and um, for the blade, this one is uh, full titanium. He has one uh, with the uh, carbon fiber uh, overlays like this one. Okay, I up I opted for the larger version, which is a four and I think one eighth of an inch or one sixteenth of an inch, and um, the other one is uh, shorter. I think three and a half inches. Uh, long blade. Um, this knife is a very very uh, beautiful knife to look at. Um, it is also a very uh, tactical uh, purpose uh, purposely uh, built uh, folder. Um, as you can see it has these uh, two tips and uh, the second tip can actually can really uh, rip a lot of the uh, tissues there. Um, the penetration is not um, the best because it's not like a dagger style or a spear point style but uh, it, is, it, it will uh, still uh, penetrate uh, because of the sharpness and um, the way it is designed like the uh, little bit of a clip point here okay so it will still go in All right and it will rip, which is really good. Uh, very, very tactical looking knife. Um, the blade, the entire blade is made of uh, titanium and has his a uh, trademark um, anodizing uh, uh, texture. Um, I think it's called, he calls it the uh, alien skin texture, uh, which is really good looking. It's a purplish, um, like a some type of uh, ripples. Um, I think he's the only one who makes this type of uh, uh, colors and uh, textures. Um, and it's one of probably one of his uh, uh, work secrets. Okay. Uh, the blade is very thick. Uh, I don't have the exact measurement of the uh, uh, blade, but it's probably around. Uh, uh, 0.2 inches of thickness okay it's very thick and uh, it has the his uh, custom made uh, thumb stud uh, which is also very nice um, it's like it's a cone shape not um, uh, how to say uh, not very big so it does not uh, get get stuck in uh, in the pocket um, you can shake it out. Um, it works really fine. Okay. Um, the grind is very interesting. It has a switch here, and a switch here, and it's a hollow grind. Well, oh, actually, yeah, it is hollow grind. Hollow grind here, and a very very shallow hollow grind here. On the, this part. Um, the nice. The knife is uh, very light. I think it's uh, probably around uh, four ounces, mm, probably 4.2. I don't have the scale, but uh, feels really, really light for a knife of this uh, length. Uh, the jimping works fine. You can uh, choke it up here, do some uh, nice work, or you can have it like all the way back. You get around, you get like a, a, a inch more of a. Uh, reach here so that's that's like five inch reach see uh, Warren also made um, a G10 uh, lock bar stop so uh, you, you cannot over extend the uh, titanium uh, lock bar here also the scale is also full titanium the clip is custom made also full titanium and uh, the G10 uh, uh, scale has his uh, famous radius uh, carvings. Um, the knife 
seems that uh, it only um, uh, stays on one stand off but it's not there are there are two smaller stands off uh, on the back here uh, it's smaller because um, when the knife folds and because of the shape uh, it cannot have a bigger stand off here so that's a very uh, smart design because instead of uh, letting uh, this part go without the standoff he actually made two small ones so uh, the, the folder is actually a very very uh, strong uh, folder just look how massive this standoff is okay it is also t titanium or makes uh, all these uh, bolts and nuts here it's also titanium uh, the entire knife uh, I think it's, uh, they are non magnetic because everything is built on uh, titanium or G10 um, even even the detent bolt that you see there um, I think it's ceramic because uh, it's white uh, so it does a ceramic detent bolt and uh, um, the washer uh, as you can see there if you can see it, it's uh, made out of uh, uh, Teflon washers uh, because it's also white it's not um, a bronze washer I, I like Teflon washer um, it, it gives you that uh, special uh, feeling that uh, not bronze washer can give you so it's really fine uh, the blade is absolutely uh, uh, not moving when closed uh, not not moving when opened that's really hard to do because especially this is like a chisel grind so uh, as you can see the, uh, the the flat side is really close to the scale so if it moves it will touch the scale but it's not moving so uh, that's a perfect fit and finish there um, what else okay the clip um, on the prototype that I saw uh, Warren made uh, he has a bigger, uh, a, a wider clip, but uh, probably because of these uh, standoff, uh, Warren shape off a little bit of the clip. Um, that that says a lot because um, uh, it tells me that uh, Warren does care how uh, it feels uh, in the pocket, not only how it feels uh, in the hand. So that's uh, some neat stuff that. Uh, I do take in considerations. Um, other niche stuff is that um, uh, I don't know if you can see it here. Let's see if you can. Uh, okay. There's there's a small uh, cutout on the blade tang. It's like a curving. Okay, that's a neat feature because. Uh, when you open it and you want to close it, uh, it slides better. Uh, I, for the, I mean, for the detent ball to slide uh, better. So that's uh, another uh, neat feature that uh, he makes. Um, this is uh, his logo, WT, Warren Thomas, and some close shots. See, this is like perfect machining. It's flat here. That's the uh, blade stop pin. It's just flat. Everything is just great on this knife. Um, I cannot complain about anything on this knife. And this this is probably one of his uh, first uh, uh, folder after the prototype. Very beautiful. Oh, okay, and uh, the. Uh, the edges are carbide uh, by him he makes a lot of uh, carbide edge uh, which gives a uh, very very high uh, rockwood hardness I think it's probably close to 90 um, compared to let's say uh, Chris Reef 7 which is 58 59 um, that's really hard so you basically you don't have to uh, sharpen it for a very long time um, titanium is uh, rust proof steel uh, so uh, well not steel but rust proof uh, metal uh, so I don't have to worry about carrying these to the beaches or um, 
do uh, water sports because I know um, it will not rust on me and it's very light so uh, the, the whole day carry it's uh, it's joy I mean I can carry two of these and I feel really really um, comfortable okay the ergo is perfect and you just you just grab it and uh, very good grabbing uh, <coughs> position here and grab it like that uh, on the back very perfect the lock up is 50% I like that sticks a little <coughs> but uh, it probably will break in alright guys um, thank you for watching and see you soon